Pew! Pew! I'm back, mother... What is up ladies and gents, my name is Jaden of Team Vox Populi, and after three weeks of traumatizing hospitalness, we are back for a 1.5.1 mod showcase. So without any further ado, let's get started. Today in our new mod showcase area, we have for you the Borderlands 2 Weapons Mod. Now this was originally started by Iruna Hatake on the Minecraft forums to become a full Borderlands mod, but ended up being scrapped and saved and is now a weapons mod. First off, we have this block, which is Iridium. If any of you play Borderlands, the PC game, you will know what Iridium is. Basically, you're going to want to mine this with an axe. I recommend iron or higher, and that will give you an amount of Iridium fragments. Next, you'll take four Iridium fragments, place them in your crafting GUI, and that will give you one Iridium ingot. Next, you are going to want to take that Iridium ingot and give it four iron ingots and that will craft the echo communicator for you. This is an important device if you're playing with the Borderlands mod. Over here we have our friendly local marauder who will be introduced later. As you can see when I look at him nothing special happens. Now let's see what happens when I equip the echo communicator and look at him. It displays his health. As you can see it's accurate. There you go. And now he's going after me so you know we'll just uh... It should be noted, the Echo Communicator also works for vanilla mobs. Note, it works for all mobs. Even squid. Oh hey, an egg! I will take you, and I will name you Mr. Squiggles. <laughs> Next, we are going to look at shields. Just like in Borderlands 2, there is a rarity for these shields. Basically, like any other game, such as Halo, it's an overshield that takes damage before you, and then your health would come after. It does recharge, and I figure we'll just show you how this works. So I'm going to put it here on my chest. So as you can see, now that I've taken some damage, these blue hearts are appearing, which is the equivalent of my shield. Note in a second that when I get hit, the blue hearts will disappear. Whoa, Psycho Midget! The blue hearts will disappear before the actual hearts do, so let's take some hits. And the blue hearts are disappearing. And uh, So yeah, as I was saying, just like in the original Borderlands, they have rarity tiers for shields. And in this case, mine is purple. Just like Borderlands or World of Warcraft, the rarity tiers go in order of lowest rarity to highest, white, green, blue, purple, and then orange, orange being the best. Because... Orange. I knew you were waiting for this part. The guns. So as you can see, just like in Borderlands, they have the different manufacturers for the guns. As you can see, there's... Hyperion, Dahl, Vladov, Tidior, Torg, Maliwan, Maliwan, I don't remember that, Bandit, Maliwan again. <laughs> but yeah, they're all the original brands from Borderlands, and as you can see, they are just like the game. Some of them have elements like incendiary effects, or like here, explosive effects. And as you can see, they also come in the same tiers. We got our white, and our green, and our blue, and all that other stuff, and some purple, and I still haven't been able to find an orange pistol, but you know orange is special. So let's go and check out some of these guns. So now that we're all geared up, let's head over to our mob facilities. Here we are in our state-of-the-art newly built mob facility, and I will spawn in some marauders for us to fight. So let's start out with our Jacob's pistol. Much like the game, this gun will shoot as fast as you can click, but generally has a low capacity. So as you can see, I'll shoot this guy. And oh, he died. As you can see, they also drop ammo, which you automatically pick up. And you can see that once I've shot enough shots, it says reload. So I can reload. And since I'm in creative, it will show infinite amounts. So let's switch into survival. And as you can see, it shows my ammo. And we'll shoot a few shots. And as you can see here, when I reload, doo -doo -doo -doo, I've picked it up already, so I'm back to max ammo. It should also be noted. There is a recoil and lack of accuracy with these guns. Note that I'm simply holding down the fire button, and yet my aim is changing. Now we also have the other guns, 
whose effects I would like to show off. For example, Torg, which has explosive effects, like so. Uh, oh, oh god. And I guess we'll also have to show off the incendiary pistol. Oh no, this is the slag pistol, which is essentially poison. As so you can see when I shot him, he got slagged. Oh no, it just slowed him, okay. He slowed, that's fine. I can, I can live with that. Now we also have the incendiary pistol, which as you can see, will light them on fire. Mm, does very nice damage indeed. And of course, I've already showed you the Jacob's pistol. Now when you kill these mobs, there is a chance that they will drop a shield or a gun, and that is the only way to obtain the guns in the game. Well, legitimately anyway. In case you were wondering, I will show you the creative menu, and you search for pistol. Now it comes up with a question mark, and you throw that into your hot bar, and it magically turns into a pistol, and wow, hey, that's a pretty nice gun you got there. Anyways, let's, let's head on back. Ladies and gents, this has been the Borderlands Weapons Mod by Irono Hatake on the Minecraft forums for 1.5.1. I think this is a great mod that you should download right away. It adds a lot of cool stuff, not necessarily too overpowered into your game, and it adds some pretty cool mobs too. What I would like to see more from this mod is just overall expansion. I'd like to see a lot of different guns added into the games, including the heavy artillery and the sniper rifle and all that, and maybe a few more mobs like the slags, because that would be really cool. But, this is a great mod, and I would say definitely download it. Thank you to the following subscribers who have subscribed in the past three weeks. There is a huge list here, I know. Thank you, all of you guys, for subscribing, and thank you for helping us to reach 700 subs. If you're not subbed already, sub today to become one of the ladies or gents of Vox Populi, our amazing team that we have here. And I would just like to say thank you. So, if you like what you see, and you see what you like, and you like who I be, keep the love alive, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Until then, ladies and gents, you know what's coming. Stay classy! Alright, until then, see you in next week's mod showcase. Bye bye Be free, Mr. Squiggles! Be free!